Good afternoon, this is Chris Brecher with the Simpler Stocks free video for October 26, 2016. So you can see it's about two and a half hours before the bell. I want to get out this early because it's very interesting to watch the divergences going on in this market. To give you an idea right now, we have the NASDAQ which outperforms almost every day in here. We have the NASDAQ again only down 14 points. This is a $4,000 uh, index. Yeah, the Russell is 1,200 down 10. This divergence is becoming very important. Like you see, the ES is down six, NASDAQ down 14, Russell down 10. Yeah, the bonds only up five, they were up over 20. Yeah, the industrials down 40, transports down 11, SPX down six. You have gold having a good day in here. First day I can remember when gold is that strong and crude oil is this weak. Yeah, the dollar just modestly down. Advanced decline has been down about minus 600 all day. And you have the VIX moderately up, nothing to really write home about. As you see, the DE Dow, which is uh, Thinkorswim's uh, represented of the uh, DAX index in Germany, down modestly. The Chinese index, represented by DJ China, up modestly. So you haven't got much in here. This is what I want to show you. There are two things that are the biggest thing going on today. One, Apple's earnings after the close. Apple has done this since they introduced the iPhone 7. Straight up. So to me, this move, and I'll take off the indexes on the side, they are pricing that the earnings are priced to perfection. All these supposedly channel checks that came out right here when the stock was 102.89 that said the iPhone 7 is just the best thing since sliced bread. I'm just wondering if it really is. I know in hindsight, a lot of people say, oh, well, check out the negative divergence. It's not that easy because negative divergence isn't a trigger on itself. You have to wait for some kind of break. This just w is a warning sign. That's all that is. The thing that I'm seeing in here is Apple up at this level, not fulfilling all this uh, bull flag yet, but pricing so much into the stock already that you know, I'm telling you, it has to be perfect earnings. Let's put it that way, which it can be. Don't get me wrong. We're at the historically strong time of year. But this is the biggest troubling thing in my book. This is the Russell on the left and the right. 195 chart. I'm going to zoom out. And I showed this last night on the Simpler Stocks uh, premium side. I send out email alerts of indexes. The thing in here is this is almost breaking down. This whole level down here is about to break down. But what I said was the big wild card is that the NASDAQ, on the other hand, and all these indexes usually move together eventually. This is at a new high. This was in the same level of the TSs and it broke up. What do you do now? What I've seen just in the past is either the Russell breaks down and pulls down the NASDAQ or the NASDAQ goes so high after Apple and Amazon's earnings that finally the Russell and the ESs and the Dow Jones uh, take notice. Uncheck these and I'll show you something very interesting. Take this on the right and we could even put it on a daily. There's a daily chart of the NASDAQ. And then you see the daily chart of the Russell on the left. Something has to give here, no doubt about it. So then what I decided, let's go back to other times this has happened. What has happened uh, when you get the NASDAQ doing this and the TFs aren't even close to a new high. So I went back in here to August of 2015. Remember that nasty sell-off? And I just want you to see what it looks like in here. Let me put a four-year daily chart up. And we're going to go back in here so you can see what I'm talking about. And this is what I find interesting. Check out when the high was of the Russell back here. The Russell back then hit 1292 like you can see. On June 23rd, look at the bottom down here, June 23rd. The NASDAQ didn't hit a high until July 23rd. So this peak in here, you see the Russell didn't even come close. Does that sound familiar? That's what I'm worried about in there. Back then, and I'm not saying it's going to happen, but back then, instead of the TFs trying to roar ahead to catch up, Instead, you have the NASDAQ fall apart after some disappointing earnings, and then the entire market just imploded. So all I'm saying in here is this is a big warning time in here that either the TFs need to kick in gear or the NASDAQ has to sell off to sort of get up to where the TFs are. 
That's what I'm watching. I think it's very important. So Apple's earnings tonight become a very important thing. So uh, just so you know, we still have the $7.30 day trial. We've had a lot of people take us up on this. I mean, thousands. So we have, uh, this includes our chat room when I'm on 9 to 10 in the morning. Our premium videos that are a lot more in depth than what you're hearing now, a lot more stock specific. But I do go over the futures also. We actually have a number of people that don't even trade stocks that have our side because they love our email alerts that include index and futures charts. The reason I post about six charts every morning is before you can lean long or lean short on stocks, you need to have an overall market perspective. I don't care how good a stock looks, the probability is, is that it's going to go down if the whole market goes down. So that's why it's very, very important to always show the indexes. I also do about six stock trades and chart ideas. Believe it or not, I did none this morning. And the reason being because of this divergence. It would be real easy for me to show a bunch of positive uh, chart patterns. But when you have this divergence in the indexes, I wanted to wait till tonight and see Apple's earnings before I go out on a ledge and recommend anything on the long side. Same with short ideas. The NASDAQ is an all-time high. Very nervous about today posting any short ideas when if Apple goes up and pulls everything up, I'd be dead wrong. So I'd rather post twice as many ideas tonight than any right now that just uh, put you on a, uh, that are low probability setups. The other thing I do in here I'm very proud of is the unusual options activities. I know there are a lot of sites that post hundreds of option trades every day. And then when one hits, they're like, you see, I can't do that for, because I just, in good conscience, nobody is going to be able to act on 100 different trades. You want ones you can act on now. And our track record has been amazing on those. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Looking forward to seeing what Apple's earnings are tonight. Don't forget, it's not the earnings. It's how a stock reacts to earnings. To give you a for instance of this, GM blew it out of the park today on earnings. And the stock went straight down. That's another reason I'm a little cautious today. When you get stocks that blow out the earnings and they sell off that sharply. They, and on the other hand, you're getting stocks that have poor earnings and they absolutely fall apart like Sherman Williams. Makes you really wonder how healthy this market really is. So have a great night. I'm uh, glad you listened to me. I'm looking forward to talking to you tomorrow. Take care.